What's up, YouTube? This is JB Panther back with video. In today's video is my uh, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 15 review. I really want to talk to you guys about this because I thought it was really, really good. I know you guys have been asking, like, why haven't you done a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen videos? Honestly, personally, I've read the manga, and my personal opinion, I was just like, I kind of knew what was going to happen. So that's why you didn't see me. I think I, I forgot. I think it stopped in like episode like 10. But that's the reason why I was like, no, there's no purpose, purpose for me of doing it. But when it's a crazy action pack, episode like this i'm definitely going to do the exchange event for you know now until the end of uh you know episode 24 and also i'm gonna cha start changing things up on my youtube channel i know you guys are already seeing uh my voice you know you hear my voice a lot higher stuff like that i got this new software i'm you know doing things with the mic also uh to let you guys know i felt like as a youtuber i have shown my face to my subscribers a lot of people are too on youtube are too scared to show their faces i have no problem with it i feel like i've been doing it for like two and a half years so you guys already seen what i look like i might do some videos again like with the face and the lighting and stuff like that but honestly this might just be my new motto going forward you know put a picture up and you know have me talk over and stuff like that but it's going to be uh, a different type of uh, trying to change things up when it comes to my youtube channel i just want to give you guys a heads up so let's talk about episode jujutsu kaisen 15 Honestly, I really like this episode because honestly, it felt very, very similar to Naruto and like really very similar to Naruto where they kind of just got straight to the point, started fighting and we didn't really have to go through all the dialogue and back thing. I think the reason why it was for that particular episode last week is so people could kind of understand like this is the exchange event. They explained a whole um Try to explain everything more in detail. So I feel like episode 14 was very necessary to get the hype up. And so pretty much with this episode, they just went straight to the point and just started fighting. And the way everything was set up is that, you know, you have your team. You got the panda. You got Maka. You got Nabara and Fujigora. Uh, you got Sama. You got uh, Ichidori. And it seems like they're all in groups. And it seems like they're all splitting. And it seems like... They're all going together as a team, but they kind of have a strategy because remember, they're fighting like six other students as well. I can't remember the names of the other six students, but you know, so just to give you guys a heads up, but Toto, he comes out there trying to uh, fight them. And it seems like, you know, when they start going up and trying to run up, you could tell that, uh, you know, the team's already kind of sensing that Toto's about to pop up. And then they saw the curse, uh, the bug, I guess, and just Toto just destroys away. And it seems like they put Ichidori specifically for uh, Toto's fighting style. So while they're f Ichidori is pretty much fighting Toto, uh, the, the crew can still keep going forward, you know. And the thing is, I really like this episode. I really do because I liked how uh, Toto, Ichidori, you know, they kind of start fighting. Like, boom, 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 boom. Started, like, sparring. And also, I do like how Toto pretty much beat the crap out of Ichidori. And pretty much says, like, that's it. You're weak. And he's like, you're you're nothing. And then Ichidori is like, yo, that hurts. That really hurts, damn it. And he pretty much says, you know, Toto, you know, him and Ichidori have a conversation. He's pretty much like, you know, the typical, uh, what type of girls you like. Uh, it's like, why are you asking me something like that? It's like, no, I'm trying to get a sense of you and who you are and pretty much i liked how the dialogue was with between each other again i read the manga so i kind of knew what's going to happen stuff like that and ichidori is like why would i tell you that he's like no nah, come on tell me tell me what type of you girls you girls you like and then ichidori is like hmm if we're gonna play this game or you know you know do whatever this is uh he says he likes tall girls with pretty much with fat asses and like jennifer tall girls with fat asses and like jennifer lawrence and i'm like oh and then and I, I was laughing a lot of people were probably laughing as well and then toto had this i guess memory and again i read the manga but pretty much it talks about in the manga where uh toto creates this memory of ichidori him being like best friends and feel like they knew each other since like forever and then it pretty much goes into the flashback where i guess you know show you how cool they were and stuff like that again this is all made up in toto's mind they they never never met until now you know and then you know they have this i guess this whole fake memory or whatever it is saying oh well i'm gonna toto's trying to talk to this girl and the girl's not interested and then toto gets rejected and ichidori i guess in his memories like oh come on uh i'll 
I'll get you some ramen, and they're together, blah, 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 and then Toto started crying, he's like, no one's ever beat us in your hometown, and Ichidori is like, what, are you freaking, like, we, is like, we're now best friends, like, we just met, and then it looks like the other team from his, you know, his, the other squad, it looks like they're trying to kill him, they already got, uh, Maka's sister already has, shoot him with the gun, then you got the other chick with the, the shadow sword domain, then you have the other guy with the cannon, and then you have the arrow, and it just seems like they just straight up want to kill him, and then uh, Toto, I guess, does his technique where he, I guess, teleports him, and then Toto's like, move, get out the way, pretty much, it's like, you, you know, uh, we were told to kill him, he's like, I'll do it myself, you piss off, do not interfere, and it seems like the other class, you know, like Fujigora and all of them are going in there, knocking him out, and it seems like they're all separating him from Ichidori, and pretty much, they have this whole entire, I guess, uh, you could say flashback of them pretty much saying that, you know, uh, Ichidori, we're going to have you particularly go after Toto. We understand Fujigoro. You want to take him. He's Fujigoro. like, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. And it seems like they all, Maka and Panda and Saman and all of them, they all have everything planned out. Nabara, you're going to be with us. And it seems like they're waiting, you know, for the right time to strike. And pretty much it goes to... Uh, Fujigora fighting that guy with the the the, the arrow. Uh, I again, I can't remember a lot of these characters' names. And then you had Maka trying to fight with the the chick with the sword, and you know, pretty much she get the chick with the sword is talking about like I need to you know rank up so I can make make money and feed uh, my little brothers and stuff like that and get money. And and Maka's like just because you know you have ambitions doesn't mean I go easy on you. And then we get to the part where. Uh, Toto is fighting Ichidori, and then, you know, they're pretty much fighting, and Toto seems like he really likes Ichidori, because, you know, I guess he sees him as his best friend, and then they're fighting, 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 and then uh, the way Toto really likes uh, Ichidori's fighting style, because the way he takes advantage of his uh, surroundings, like the jungle and stuff like that, also you're starting to see it with uh, Toto, is that, you know, Ichidori also beats the crap out of him, he blocking him, blah, 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 and then he also does his diver divergent fist with his curse energy, he's like, I really like it, I like it, I like it, but then he's like, the, the hit comes out, I guess the impact uh, hits him later on, and he's saying, this is all wrong, this is all wrong, this is all wrong, and he says, you know, Ichidori is like, if this is the way you want to stay, then we're not going to be friends for lo much longer, and he says, he's like, what are you talking about, I don't even care what you got to say, it's like, do you want to become strong, or do you want to become weak, and he says, you know, make sure you know how to, you know, use your curse energy right pretty much telling him how to use his curse energy and i guess you know ichidori is like yes i'm ready to like fight and really take him seriously and that's pretty much the end of the episode to really be honest with you uh i again it was more like fighting more than dialogue i mean it was some dialogue here and there but it just seems like the way uh everything's setting up is that the way the way you say it up you could tell that they're gonna just straight up keep on fighting and stuff like that again it seems like the next episode is going to be more of uh toto versus uh, ichidori and again we'll see what happens next week and again i really like this episode most people are probably gonna like this episode i personally could see why jujitsu kaisen is selling very very well in japan and worldwide and also i don't know if you guys are my inner you know people who are international well, America, you guys kind of know. But like Jujutsu Kaisen, the manga, you can't even go to Barnes & Noble or your local bookstore to even get Jujutsu Kaisen because it's selling out like crazy. I think a lot of it reasons because it feels like Naruto, Bleach, Yu Yu Hakusho. That's just my personal opinion. I do feel like it has that, you know, yeah, the character does have a devil inside him like Naruto. Uh, the curses are like the hollows from Bleach. The Jujutsu Sorcerers are very similar to Spirit Detective. So I can see why it resonates resonates with like the world you feel me not just uh, japan but also the world and also it's the next series replacing that big three that big three uh anime you know when you have my hero black clover demon slayer demon slayer is done so you need a, another third candidate to replace that slot Jujutsu Kaisen is the perfect candidate for it, and I guarantee you a lot of people really aren't going to complain about it right now it's getting really really good I feel like this gives off that old Naruto tuning exam uh, vibe when it comes to the exchange event. And I do think the exchange event is going to really help the manga sales of Jujutsu Kaisen and push the franchise and the manga going forward. And I do think it will become a member of the big three by the end of 
you know, this season, in my personal opinion. And I think, think a lot of people are just going to go and read the manga or buy the manga and stuff like that. And America, I think we're getting volume 8 in, like, February. And I think the other ones come out, like, April, June, uh, August, and stuff like that, just to give you guys a heads up. But overall, I really like this particular uh, episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys like this episode? I personally give this... I'm trying to, what, what's a good rating I'll give it? I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I really, really do like it. I'm really, it's not a bad, bad episode. I really, really do like it. But again, it's different when you are a manga reader compared to uh, someone who hasn't read the manga and stuff like that. But again, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about this episode. Did you guys like this episode? Did you not like this episode? I personally like this episode. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the greatest episode ever made, but trust me, this arc is going to get really, really good and get really, really exciting and pretty much just sit back and eat your popcorn and drink your soda or drink your beer. Uh, take care.